Okay, here on my screen, I have Polkadot.js on the left, and uh, I have uh, Nova Wallet on uh, on the right. You can see this is Nova Wallet, and uh, I just uh, put Polkadot.js here just to show a little bit of uh, more detailed information on what's going on. I have this account, KSM Stash. It has four KSM, and um, currently I have uh, 0.6 KSM locked, but uh, you can see here I have also a 0.1 KSM lock here and this is a democracy lock this is a lock because i previously voted i previously delegated and i, I have undelegated but actually because locks they do not um, they do not stack you will see uh, the the biggest lock that uh, decides the total amount of token that you have locked and here if i hover on uh, polkadot.js you can see that uh, i have 0 0.6 ksm in staking currently bonded and um, 0 0.1 KSM locked via, via referendum. And uh, what you see here, 0 0.6 is, uh, is the biggest. We have 0 0.6 tokens. We use this 0 0.6 token to stake, but we can also use them to vote. And the biggest locks the size. So here um, is under vote on Polkadot.js. You can see like uh, under assets is um, the account that um, currently we are um, we are using this is the ksm stash and the ksm stash has uh, uh, some ksm if we want to vote we have to go in nova under vote and uh, you can see it here and under vote it will give you some information about what you're doing currently we are not doing anything i mean we can see that we have been doing something in the past because we have a lock in fact if we tap on the locked amount we can see that uh, we have uh, six days left. So this is uh, was a one X conviction uh, lock that uh, I just did um, earlier this morning and uh, for delegation and I am delegated. And now I have this, uh, I have this lock. So whenever you delegate and you undelegate, you will get a lock, no matter what, uh, if the referendum passes, if it doesn't pass, you will get a lock um if you would if you delegate with conviction so what i want to show right now is um how we can delegate again so to delegate we go and add delegation and here we can see all the people that are accepting delegations so all the people that will be able to to use our voting power to vote we will not be um involved in open gov we can say okay i have these tokens and I can use them um, to, to vote in OpenGov. I don't want to do it myself. I decide, okay, I will, um, I will give permission to CausDAO to, to vote on my behalf. So I can uh, click on Add Delegation, and um, I, select, uh, I can select uh, all the tracks. OpenGov has different tracks that, um, that basically um, uh, decides how much uh, can, can you like um, spend from the treasury for the treasury tracks or you have the root track for like a big implementation and changes in the, in the code base, for example, and um, different tracks for different things. In this case, I will just select the medium spender track in this example. Then I click on continue and here I can choose the, um, the conviction voting. The conviction voting is like a multiplier that basically um, will uh, make uh, my vote stronger at the expense of locking my tokens for a longer period of time. And um, in here, you can see that um, now with the 0.1x uh, conviction is the default, there is no lock. So you can see like uh, there is no, no lock in here, but as soon as I select um, 1x conviction, you can see that uh, the undelegating period is uh, seven days. So here I just uh, select uh, one X. You can actually go up to six uh, times, but you can see here the locking period dramatically increases. So we will choose one X. Here we need to specify the amount of tokens and uh, we can um, click on continue and click confirm. And now we are delegating. You can see here that uh, something changed. And then um, we can see the information about uh, our delegation, 0.1 KSM. And this is information about uh, what we are doing uh, 
uh, we are currently delegating to Klaus Dao, only the medium spender track, and uh, the conviction voting is, um, is a 1x. All right, so what happens, for example, if, um, if I want to vote while I'm delegating? So on op in OpenGov, you can delegate your votes, but you can also vote yourself on a referendum. So what happens if I have a delegation on the medium spender track and I want to vote? So let's go and, um, and select, for example, the first um, referendum here is on the medium spender track. We select it and uh, we decide, okay, let's vote. And uh, let's select, I don't know, 0 0.1. And uh, if I click uh, yes, you will see already delegating votes. So you cannot actually um, delegate on a specific track and then vote at the same time if you already have um, th this delegation. And here is specifying to you uh, with uh, this really nice, um, you know, like, uh, use a, this nice informative uh, banner that you're delegating votes for a selected referendum track, please either ask your delegate to vote or remove the delegation. Okay, so we cannot vote. Okay, we go back and uh, we remove our delegation. How do we remove our delegation? We select on um, your delegation here. Then uh, we tap on the, the delegation that is currently active. We tap on uh, here on revoke, and uh, we need to select treasuring uh, medium spend. So this is the track that we are actually currently delegating. We click on uh, continue, and uh, we click on uh, confirm. So in a while, we will see that uh, here we go. We don't have any more our delegation, but if we go here. We can see now the lock is updated. So it's no more six days, but uh, it's seven days left. So we just uh, re, um, reset basically the, the countdown of our lock. We just undelegated. And uh, because we undelegated, we delegated with conviction 1x, we will get a lock of seven days. Okay. Now that we undelegated, what we try to do is uh, to um, vote. So we select the the referendum uh, here, which is a medium spender, and uh, we click on vote, and um, we can see here that we already have a lock-in period. Although we select, we have this 0.1x conviction that actually doesn't create any lock, um, Nova Wallet is already telling us that uh, on this track, we already have a seven days um, locking uh, lock period that started. And um, the lock that we have is 0 0.1 KSN. So what we try to do here is um, to specify 0 0.115. So we actually vote with uh, a little bit more than the actual lock that we currently have. You can see um, here we have this uh, 0 0.1 KSM uh, lock on the referendum. And um, we select the conviction 1x. So we have a 0 0.15 votes. Okay. And uh, we can see here how much it changed. So, how the situation will change after we vote like this. So, the governance lock will increase by 0 0.05 KSM. And uh, the locking period will increase from seven to 10 days. Why is it like this? is because this referendum will finish in three days. So we will have um, the seven days lock plus three days because this referendum is ongoing and we are voting, um, we are actually voting on it. So if the referendum ends in three days and we are on the winning side, we will get a 10 days, uh, a seven days um, lock after that. But if we are on the losing side, we will remain with the lock that we currently have, which is the delegation uh, lock. So we will actually have four days of, um, of locking period left because we started now with seven days and in three days we will have four days left. So we click on uh, yes and uh, we vote on this referendum. And we can see now we have, um, we have voted, we have voted yes. 
And uh, if we go uh, and we double check on Polkadot.js, now the referendum lock is uh, 0 0.15. Okay, but what is nice about voting that is not possible about delegating is that uh, if the referendum is ongoing, I can remove my vote anytime, even if I have a six times conviction. So I can remove the vote and I can unlock immediately if the referendum is ongoing. The only, um, the only situation when uh, I will actually get the lock if I'm voting on a referendum, if there is, if the referendum ends and I am on the winning side. This is the difference with uh, delegation because delegation are not like this. As soon as I delegate, I will get a lock, no matter what, if I'm, de if I'm delegating with conviction. So whenever you decide to delegate, you have to really think that uh, if you're delegating with conviction, whatever you do, even if you decide that one second later to delegate, you will get a lock. But uh, with voting, it's not like this. We will see, um, we will see right now. If we go back um, under locked amount, we can see that uh, as we have seen before, 10 days left, 0 0.15 KSM. No more 0 0.1, but 0 0.15. Because in here we have the delegation that we did and the voting that uh, we just um, we just finished to we just uh, finished to vote. Interestingly, if we go back on the referendum and um, we uh, click on revote and we set our vote to zero. Um, okay, we, we delegate with, uh, I don't think this, this matters. We select yes, confirm. So now we updated our vote to zero. It's basically we are not voting anymore on this referendum. If we go here, you can see that we can unlock. We can already unlock something because uh, we were voting ourselves of, of, uh, on an ongoing referendum. So if we uh, select this, we can see that um, we have 0 0.05 KSM that are unlockable. And this is actually because we voted with the 0 0.15 KSM, but we already had this um, 0 0.1 KSM from the delegation. So this will stay, but uh, the difference between the two, which is 0 0.05, will be unlockable. So I can, um, I can actually tap on unlock and confirm. And now I just I'm just left with the 0 0.1 KSM um, that was from uh, from a delegation. So we delegated and undelegated. Um, we can see here still we have zero votes and uh, I don't know why Nova is doing like this. There is currently uh, as far as I know and I tried, there is no like um, remove vote option here. But actually, if you go under add delegation and you try to add the delegation again, you will see this um, this message. And this message message is telling is telling me that I still have some votes that uh, I can remove, and I cannot delegate to the medium spender track because I still have votes on that specific track, even if uh, I selected zero votes. So what I'm doing here is just remove votes and confirm. And now we're good to go. Now we, re we remove the vote and uh, we can uh, delegate again. Okay, this is this is basically it. I mean, it's um, it's mostly what, um, what delegating and voting means. Um, and how you can do it uh, easily with uh, with Nova Wallet, and uh, you can clearly see when you can do stuff and you can cannot do stuff, and what you need to do to solve the problem. Uh, the main things I think um, to remember is that if you delegate with conviction and you undelegate, you get a lock no matter what. But if you vote with conviction and uh, you remove the vote um, before like the referendum ends you will actually be able to unlock immediately. The only situation when you're voting yourself that you will get a lock if you're voting with conviction is um, that basically the referendum ends and you are on the winning side, then you will get you will get the lock. Otherwise, you will be able to remove. If you're on the losing side, at the end of the referendum, you will be able to, to remove the lock. And um, you cannot uh, delegate 
and vote at the same time on the same track. You either vote and then remove the vote and then delegate or, or the opposite.